Board shares revved up, jumping 6% on better-than-expected earnings. They also reaffirmed guidance and raised the dividend. Courtney. Yeah, what I really like here is not only do they beat their quarterly estimates, but they actually kept their full year guidance, which is really important because you're really seeing the consumer is getting constrained by inflation. That is not a problem in the auto industry. They're actually basically not able to sell cars as fast as they can make them right now because there's so much pent up demand after the supply chain issues they had during COVID. And I think that's going to be a really positive catalyst for them going forward. But also, you can look at them. I've talked about this previously in the EV space. Um, we actually saw their Ford F-150, that increased by um, 32 percent last month in sales and they're expected to have two million electric vehicles per year by 2026 and they've already gotten 70 percent of that battery capacity so i think longer term too it trades it so much cheaper than some of your electric vehicle competitors